When multiplying and dividing whole numbers by 10, 100 or 1000, children often say that just adding a zero or taking a zero off the end will give you the correct answer. For example, if we take the number 25 and multiply it by 10, it would appear that just adding a zero to the end gives you your answer of 250. And then saying 25 divided by 10, taking a zero off, also gives you your answer of 25. This, however, is not the case. If we take the number 2.5 and multiply that 10 by just adding a zero, we've still got 2.5. So let's have a look at why. If I again write my number 25 with a 2 in the tens column for 20 and a 5 in the units column and just add a 0, we can now see that that makes 25.0. What I'm actually doing when I times 25 by 10 is the numbers are moving along one place and the 0 is coming into the units column as a placeholder. Then, if I try to divide 25 by 10, the digits are moving in the opposite direction. And you can see there that that number becomes 25.0. For example, if I had 353 and I wanted to share that between 100, that number moves once and once again to give me 3.53 there's my original number so if I now take £5.40 and I'm buying a hundred of something for £5.40 my numbers move once twice again and I can see that, that number now is £540. Working opposite to that, if I've just bought something for £540 and there were 10 things that I'd bought, I'm going to divide £540 by 10, which you can see there gives me £54. If I buy 100 sweets, for 38 pence and I want to know how much those sweets cost 10 of them would cost £3.80 100 of them would cost £38 last of all if I spent £36 20 and I, want, and I bought 10 objects and I want to know how much each one was I would divide by 10 again moving those digits along one place which would give me an answer of £3.62 so when we are timesing by 10 we are not just adding a zero. So for example if I had 11 and I wanted to times it by 10 I'm not just adding a zero onto the end. Digits are moving along one place. When I'm dividing by 10 I am not just taking a zero off. The digits are moving one place that direction and I get the number 11. To demonstrate this I've got a sheet of paper with my place value shown and on top of that I've got a piece of acetate and when teaching my children to times and divide by ten hundred thousand I get them to move those along on the place value sheet so that they can see how those numbers are moving and that they're not just adding a zero to the end.